It's me, Struggle Mama. And I have a little lamb helper today. Zoe, you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> hey, everybody. So, there have been a lot of changes going on in the world lately. But one of the biggest changes is we've been having to stay inside a lot lately. This is the American Sign Language sign for inside. Can you do it with me? Make one hand into a triangle and make the other into a cup. And you're gonna take the triangle and put it inside the cup. Did you do it? Inside. <laughs> Today we're going to learn a lot of signs. We're gonna sing some songs, play some games, and read a cool book. So, come on over though. Do you wanna say hi to everybody? Hello. <laughs> but before any of that, let's go over to my chow chart and say hello. Here's my chow chart. It's a good way to greet everybody. And I have six ways to say hello. I have a red heart for a hug, an orange hand for a wave, a yellow hand for a high five, green hand for a fist bump, and a blue hand for a handshake, and last but not least, purple for just a hello. So today, I think I'm gonna do green fist bump to say hello. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of green, today we're going to read the book, Where is the Green Sheep? by Mem Fox and illustrated by Judy Horacek. In this book, there are a lot of great words that we can learn the signs for to read it together. So why don't we learn the signs together and then when we read our book, you can see how many you remember and do them along with me, okay? Let's do it. So, what's the title of our book? Where is the green sheep? So, how would we do where? You wiggle your finger in the air. Where? Can you try it? Where? Next is green. You're going to squish your fingers like this and then tilt them. Then you're going to shake your hand in your front of you. And that's green. Green. And last but not least, sheep. You're gonna to wanna to pretend like you're holding a fluffy sheep. Take your scissors, and you're gonna to pretend to shear that sheep. Sheep. Fun, right? Try it out at home. Where is the green sheep? Next we have blue. Hold your hand right up and put your thumb over your palm. Then you're gonna wiggle your hand for blue. Then we have red. Point to your red lips and then drag your finger down. Red. Can you try it? Red. Then we have bath. You're gonna take your thumbs up and drag them down like you're washing your body in the bath. Bath. <laughs> then we have bed. Tuck yourself into bed. That's an easy one, right? Bed. Then, thin. Take your pinkies and put them together. Then you're gonna stretch them out and show thin. And what's the opposite of thin? Wide. Can you try that? Wide. <laughs> then we have swing. Take two fingers like this and two other fingers and put them like they're sitting on a swing and you're gonna swing your fingers. Swing. What else can you do at a playground? What about a? Slide. Slide. Put them right back on the swing, but instead of swinging, you're gonna slide. Slide right down. Slide. Then we have that's easy. You just point up. And down is point down. Then we have band. This one is a double one. So in order to make band, 
you need to show the sign for music, which is like you're holding that sheep again. And then pretend like you're a conductor. Music. But in order to make band, you have to show a group of music. Music, and then this is group. Group. Music, group. And that's band. Then we have clown. And this is a really fun one. Take your clown nose and you just put it on. Boop. Clown. Boop. Then we have sun. You're gonna point up to the sky, make a circle like the sun, and then shine the rays of the sun on you. Sun. And what's the opposite of sun? Rain. Take your hands and show the way the rain goes down. Down, rain. Can you try rain? Rain. Then we have car. Car. Beep, beep, I'm a sheep. Beep, beep, I'm a sheep. Then we have train. Same fingers that you use for swing and slide, but instead, you're going to choo-choo, put your train along the tracks, and that's train. Train. Did you do it? Next we have wind. Whoosh. Wind. It does look like the wind, doesn't it? And then wave. Whoosh. Wind. Wave. <laughs> then we have scared. Take your hands up like this and it's almost like you scared them out. <gasps> scared. Make sure you make a scared face too. <gasps> now what's the opposite of scared? Brave. Who's brave out there? Let me see. Take your shoulders and show the muscles. Take your shoulders and show the muscles. Nice. Brave. Now we're gonna do near. Take one hand up like this and another hand and you're gonna show how near you can get them. Near. The opposite of near is far. Thumbs up, put them next to each other and show how far you can make it. Far. Then we have moon. Make the shape of a crescent moon, hold it up to your eye, and then show everybody where the moon lives. Up in the sky. Moon. Then we have star. Point up to the sky and make sure you make that star twinkle. Star. Then we have quietly. That's an easy one. Shh, quietly. And then we finally we have peak. Peak. Almost like you're looking in a telescope, huh? Peek. And last but not least, asleep. Take your palm of your hand and you're gonna brush it across your face, but when you end, close your eyes like you fell asleep. 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 <laughs> That's awesome. So, now that we know all those signs, let's read our book and as I read, See how many signs you remember, and you can do them along with us. Where is the green sheep? So let's see. Where is the green sheep? Doing great, babe. Here is the blue sheep. And here is the red sheep. They can see, they can see right here too, just so you know. Okay. Yeah. I saw that because I was like, my face is Yeah. Cold. Here is the bath. Remember bath? Bath sheep. And here is the bed sheep. But where 
is the green sheep. Here is the thin sheep. And here is the wide sheep. Here is the swing sheep. And here is the slide sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the up sheep. And here is the down sheep. Here is the band sheep. And here is the clown sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the sun sheep. And here is the rain sheep. Here is the car sheep. And here is the train sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the wind sheep. And here is the wave sheep. Here is the scared sheep. And here is the brave sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the near sheep. And here is the far sheep. Here is the moon sheep. And here is the star sheep. But where is the green sheep? Not here. Where is that green sheep? Turn the page quietly. Let's take a peek. Here's our green sheep fast asleep. I hope you liked that story. Whenever I read a really good book, I like to think of a game or a song or a craft that helps me bring that book to life. So what I made is a felt board with 10 woolly sheep. And we have to play the game, find the green sheep. Do you wanna play with me? When you wanna play this game at home, if you don't have felt, that's fine. You can use cups and maybe like a green pom-pom or a coin or something small like a ball. Hide it under the cups and play with a friend and see how long it takes for them to find your green sheep. The way I'll play, since it's just me and you and my little lamb helper Zoe, is we'll sing a song and we'll pick three sheep at a time until we find that pesky green sheep. Will you play with us? So here's gonna be our song. Ba ba green sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for the mother and one for the dad. 
One for the baby sitting in my lap. Ba ba green sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. Hmm, did we find that green sheep? No! No, we'll have to try it again. Ba ba green sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for the mother and one for the dad. And one for the baby sitting in my lap. Ba ba green sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. Still no green sheep. Should we try it again? What do you think? Do you think this time we'll find that green sheep? Yes! I got a good feeling about this one, Zoe. Ba ba green sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for the mother, and one for the dad, and one for the baby. <gasps> the green sheep! Do you see it? We found that green sheep. Good job, everybody. Oh, he's gone again. <laughs> All right, that was awesome. Thank you for helping find our green sheep. And since we just found the green sheep, let's sing a song about all the other colors of the rainbow. Do you want to sing with me? Here's how we play. I'm going to sing a song about all the colors, and I have a little buddy, green sheep, with me. Can you guys see him? This is my green sheep friend. If you don't have a green sheep at home, that's fine. You can use your hand as the green sheep. And how are you going to play at home? When I sing the color, if you're wearing it, do the action that I'm singing about, okay? And even if you're not wearing the color, go ahead and play too. I don't mind. All right, ready? You ready? Yeah. Uh, if you're wearing red, if you're wearing red, put a green sheep on your head. If you're wearing red. Did you do it? Who's wearing red? If you're wearing blue, if you're wearing blue, put a green sheep on your shoe. If you're wearing blue, if you're wearing yellow, if you're wearing yellow, put a green sheep on your elbow. If you're wearing yellow, if you're wearing orange, if you're wearing orange, put a green sheep on the florange. If you're wearing orange. Orange was a tricky word to rhyme. But you know what's an even trickier word to rhyme? If you're wearing purple. If you're wearing purple, teach a green sheep how to burple. Burp. Ba. Ba. Nope, nope. Burp. Burp. Barp. Barp. Hey, we did it! <laughs> if you're wearing purple. And we couldn't forget. If you're wearing green. If you're wearing green. Hop up like a jumping bean. If you're wearing green. <gasps> Guys, my green sheep friend. He's gone. He's completely vanished. Where has my green sheep friend gone? Did you guys see where he went? He's completely vanished. Well, I know a trick that might be able to get him back. He really loves music. So maybe if we sing him a song, he'll come back. He's a little shy, but maybe if we sing to him, he'll come back, okay? I'll sing a song, and you guys let me know if you see my friend, okay? Have you guys ever heard the song, Oh Where, Oh Where Has My Little Dog Gone? We're gonna sing that song, but instead of little dog, we're gonna sing green sheep, okay? So sing it with me if you know it, okay? And remember, if you see my friend, let me know, okay? Here we go. Oh, 
cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where could he be? Wait a minute. Did you guys see my friend, the green sheep? Was he here? I don't see him. Maybe we should try it again. Maybe he'll come back. Sing with me. Oh, where, oh, where has my green sheep gone? Oh, where, oh, where could he be? With his wool cut short and his tail cut off. Oh, where, oh, where could he be? That was the strangest thing. I could have sworn I could sense my friend the green sheep around. Did you guys see him? Well, let's try it one more time. Maybe we'll find him this time, okay? Ready? Oh, where, oh, where has my green sheep gone? Oh, where, oh, where could he be? With his wool cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where could he be? With his wool cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where could he be? What do you know? We've got him back! My green sheep friend! Ooh. Thank you for helping me sing to get my friend back. Oh, we found him. Thank you for helping me find my green sheep friend. Green sheep, remember? So, why don't we um, say goodbye with our chow chart again? This time I think I'm gonna do a high five. Okay guys, thank you for watching Strega Mama. Now, I want you to go out and be Safe and stay healthy and strong. See you later. Ciao. Ciao.